If you haven't watched this before, my name is Nina Means. I'm director for Austin Community College Fashion Incubator, and this is our Coffee Talk. We typically take this time to get a chance to connect with our audience and our community about what's happening in our industry. Uh, today, we're talking about digital fashion, and it was inspired by an article that was written a little over a year ago, actually, from, um, the For from Forbes. Um, and it's one of the reasons why we bring it up, even though it's been some time, is because it's still so powerfully relevant for where we're going in terms of our business and how important it is for us to be able to integrate this into what we're doing at the Fashion Incubator. We've got incredible tools and resources, and what we've decided to do um, over the next few weeks is just to break this talk up because there's just so much to cover. Um, and so instead of trying to cram it all in just a few moments, um, we're going to kind of give it to you just in kind of bite-sized bits um, here today. So you know, um, digital fashion, you know, really is about um, so much more. Um, it, there's a possibility for replacing fast fashion. Um, you know, what are startups doing to really engage designers that are still working in a very analog, you know, physical space to be able to bring them into the digital spaces? Um, what kind of workforce is needed to be able to create that um, true shift um, in terms of um, our designers' capabilities, as well as businesses that are willing to invest in this, as well as consumer appetite. Um, and then lastly, you know, kind of looking at, okay, well, is this something that's really here to stay? Is this what we're going to continue to do? Is this where we're going to live from here on out? And just wear digital clothes? Or, you know, is this just for certain people who like to be in the gaming space? Or is this for someone who, you know, is constantly on social media and needs to change their clothes but don't want to invest in you know, um, things that are going to constantly um, be cast aside after one wear. Um, way too much to cover in the few minutes that we have. So what we're going to focus on today is really looking at digital fashion is sustainable fashion. Um, digital fashion is really about getting us an opportunity to uh, reduce our consumption, uh, first of all, um, our physical consumption. Um, and to really cut down on the costly process of creating multiple samples. Now, one of the things that we're working on with our designers here at the Fashion Incubator is integrating Gerber technology throughout the process of learning how to create their products. So learning 2D pattern design software, learning 3D pattern design software, so that they're in a space by the time that they leave that they have the tools to be able to refine their digital sampling, to, um, have the tools to be able to refine your ability to create products in the digital space and test products in the digital space before making a physical sample. And for some, they may not ever want to make a physical sample. So the idea that we could have brands that are living in real life as well as in the digital space is one that is very near and happening, um, you know, with brands now really around the globe. If you're not familiar, um, definitely Google her. Hanifa, um, she just received an award from CFDA, um, introduced one of her first collections through the digital space. She had no models. Um, they were all um, walking digital, um, you know, uh, beautiful renders of all of her garments that she was going to go into production with. And um, this, it just, it broke the internet. It was an amazing experience to see all of the beautiful designs um, but 100% digital, beautifully rendered. The materials looked correct to what they would be if it was denim, if it was chiffon, if it was um, silk, if it was you know a jersey. All of those things look very realistic, very lifelike. Um, and so the idea that you're able to kind of create these experiences, you know, in the digital space are highly entertaining. Um, but not having to actually make them, not having to actually bring them into the physical space, into the physical world until the demand is there. This is cutting down on so much waste in our industry. This is cutting down on the way that we've been doing business um, in this volume, you know, prolific sampling kind of space um, that reduces the need for, you know, what people have done in the past, which is horrible, but like, you know, burning samples and, you know, destroying samples and, you know, dumping them in places where they're not needed, um, trashing them, filling landfills. Um, all of these things have been a part of the fashion industry. But now in the space of digital fashion, 
um, we really do see a huge opportunity for driving sustainability, uh, protecting our environment, um, and seeing a really a new world in terms of how we engage with fashion. Um, I really believe, and this is something that uh, the author of this Warp article kind of posits as well, is you know, digital fashion really could be the antidote for fast fashion. You know, how do we engage with our product? How do we engage with uh, what goes on our body? Um, and so it's really important um, for us to get a chance to, um, you know, be in this space of, um, you know, being open, you know, as consumers to kind of changing some of our habits and things that are going to really help us to save our environment. Um, this is definitely going to be one of several series, several, several pieces that we cover. Um, but, you know, as we look at what's needed in, in terms of digital fashion, you know, the interest in the, um, of kind of looking at what's going to help us become more sustainable and environmentally friendly in the future is really just the tip of the iceberg. This is really just, you know, consumer preferences. This is, um, you know, um, availability of workforce. There's, there's so many components to this new shift in our market. But I will say that I really do believe this is something that's here to stay. Um, and people are really shifting into this space. I mean, it's not too hard to see from the way that the gaming industry is growing to um, digital um, metaverse experiences to NFTs. Um, there's so many things that are happening that make this so relevant for right now. Um, and so we're going to take the next few weeks to talk about it. So um, we are going to go ahead and wrap it up here today. Um, if you're interested in these conversations and you want to know about um, what's happening in digital fashion or what's happening at the fashion incubator in terms of exposing people to digital fashion, give us a quick note. You know, send me um, a quick email at fashion.incubator at austincc.edu. Also, if you are, you know, wanting just to send us a quick note on our YouTube channel, you can just Drop us a quick comment. Um, you can like, share, subscribe, and um, we'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for connecting with us here for Coffee Talk. This is kind of our once a week check-in. Um, next week, you're going to hear from me again, but we're going to be talking about digital fashion and workforce. Um, that is going to be really focused on what is a talent pool for this and where is this going? And so we'll talk a lot more about um, digital fashion and workforce next week. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.